Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Max Crypto News. On last show, we talked about XRP. So on this week's show, I want to talk about a currency, cryptocurrency, that is rivaling the XRP. And this week, we're going to talk about XLM which is Stella Lumens. And like always, what I want to do, I want to share my screen so I can show you a little bit about Stella Lumens, XL and XLM. So first off, what is Stella? Well, like you can see, the Stella Network is an open source distributed and community-owned blockchain network used to facilitate cross-asset assets transfers of values. Stella aims to facilitate these transfers at a fraction of a penny while aiming to be an open financial system that gives people of all income levels access to low-cost financial services. The native digital currency of the Stellar Network is known as Lumens, XLM. Every Stellar account is required to hold a small amount of Lumens to act as a barrier against spamming the Stellar pay with payment system. Through the use of Lumens, a user can send any currency that they own to anyone else's different to anyone else in a different currency. Stella also supports smart contracts. Now, I was going to give you a little bit about who co-founded Stella. Stella was co-founded by former lawyer, lawyer, Joyce Kim and Jed McCaleb in 2014. Jed McCaleb is also the founder of the now defunct Mount Gox Exchange and the co-founder of Ripple. In fact, both payment networks use the same protocol initially. Like Ripple, Stella is also a payment technology that aims to connect financial institutions and drastically reduce the cost and, and time required for cross-border transfers. Although while Ripple focuses on banks, Stella focuses on banking the unbanked. One of Stella's largest participant partnerships is IBM, signed in October 2017 to set up multiple currency quarters for ease of payment in the South Pacific. Stella is also supported by the Stella Fo Development Foundation a nonprofit that helps with the maintenance of Stella code base and supports Stella communities, among other things. Okay, so Stella is similar to Ripple or XRP because they are both meant as means of exchanging money. While Ripple focuses more on the banks, Stella focuses more on the people. So, and the co founder, one of the co founders of Ripple was is also the co-founder of Stella, right? So Stella is a decentralized um, currency, meaning that you cannot manipulate it by one person. Well, Ripple, on the other hand, or XRP, majority of the states have been owned by one person, so therefore you can manipulate the price. That's here or there, right? But what we're going to talk about now is we're going to dive into the price of Stella. So right now, you can get Stella for a whopping six cent. It's really um, 64,686 Satoshis. That's how much you can buy a Stella for. But in American prices, we would call it six cent. So you can get shares of Stella for six cent. The market rate for Stella is actually number 14 in the top 100. You can see what the market cap is. Is over one billion. The 24-hour volume 
is almost 300 um, billion. I mean, the market cap is over 1 trillion. I'm sorry. The 24 hour volume is almost 300 billion. The circulating supply is over 20 trillion. And the total supply of these are only going to be 50 trillion. Um, the all time high of this was 93 cents in January the 4th, 2018. And the all time low was 1,227 Satoshis. That was on November the 18th, 2014. So now you're looking at cryptocurrencies that's not even a penny. It's not even, it's a fraction of a penny in 2014. All right, the 52 week high was 11 cent, 90 day high is 8 cent. Um, the 30 day high is 8 cent, 7 day high is 7 cent, 24 hour high is 6 cent, and yesterday high was 6 cent. And, you know, so right now you can get a piece of Stella for exactly 6 cent. For six cent, you can own a share of Stella or XLM. Right now, that is a reasonable price. So also what we're gonna do, since they mentioned IBM, you know, IBM is a big company and they have partnered with Stella. So what I wanna do is I wanna go and I wanna allow you to see what is IBM and Stella working on in the form of a quick video. So like always, you can come to the website, Stella, and you can learn more about it on the website and see what makes Stella better or worse than others. But to me, Stella is one of the quickest and the cheapest way that you can transfer money from one source um, to another source. All right, so you can see all the projects is Franklin, Templeton Investments, you got IBM, Bitbound, Wirex, Satoshi Pay, Noodle, Noddle, SC Currency. These are all the ones, but we're gonna um we're gonna focus on on what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on IBM real fast. So, um, I'm, I'm trying to find this video so we can play it so you can hear it from. The actual. All right, here we go. I think. I don't want to go. All right, so. Now this right here, it'll let you show how you can trade seller Stella, how you can get it, and but this ain't what I wanted to let y'all see. Oh, uh, you can you can get this stuff. Oh, uh, you can download the wallet so you can use this and you can trade peer to peer. Right now, this is already being used. But right now, it's, it's not allowing me what I'm looking for. I'm not able to run it too real fast. So, um, but what I want y'all to understand about Stella is that it is already, this is a market where you can come and you can use your Stella to buy other currencies. You can, you can use your Stella to actually buy other currencies right now.
And the good thing with Stella, like I said earlier, it's a peer, it's a peer-to-peer -peer currency. So it allows you to um skip the bank. You don't need a bank to um transfer your money from one to another. That's the good thing about Stella. It's, it's from you to the other person and no banks are involved. So um, here we go. IBM, IBM Worldwide, here it is. I finally found it. So I'm gonna play this video real fast and we'll go from there. It's unacceptable that there's 2 billion people in the world who don't have access to financial services. It's totally unacceptable. It turns out that with the traditional global payment infrastructure, it's actually more efficient to stuff $10,000 in a FedEx envelope and FedEx it. We should not be FedExing money. That's a terrible idea. But that's why it's so ridiculous that, that modern technology hasn't provided a way to optimize the movement of money around the world, right? When it becomes more efficient to FedEx cash, something is wrong. It would be awesome if every bank in the world had a correspondent bank account with every other bank in the world, but that's just not realistic, that's not feasible, at least not until now. If everybody is using um, a distributed ledger, a shared ledger, we now have the capacity to represent bank balances on each other in one system. And that's, that's really where the efficiencies come as you eliminate these hops, these, these intermediaries, because now every bank conceptually has a relationship with every, every other bank in the world. So we built a system that, um, that envisions that ultimate outcome. We call that system WorldWire. Uh, so WorldWire is a network uh, of networks that is built on top of the Stellar protocol, which provides a, a blockchain protocol that is tailored and tuned for the transfer of value and for the store of value through the issuance of many different types of digital assets. We chose Stellar because it has um, thought about scalability. It's rethought the underlying mechanics, and some of them are, are quite complex. You know, when you think of distributed computing and consensus algorithms, these are you know, not trivial things. The other benefit of Stellar, Stellar provides an amazingly simple way to issue digital assets, which is really paramount to the use and the vision behind the WorldWire system. Stellar provides a good bridge for us between this purely private network and this completely open Wild West network that we know as, as Bitcoin, where we can actually create a subnetwork, if you will, where we can enforce certain rules on the participants, but not give up the transparency and the openness of having an open network. Global payments, at least in the markets where we're starting, which is small value, retail, remittance payments, this needs to be open. Uh, it needs to be transparent because there's thousands of players who could come to the network and add value. The experience of working with Stellar has been has been really good and has been very well received, I, I think. There have been a number of iterations or experiments or technologies that have come about since the advent of Bitcoin, since the, you know, the light bulb went off. Um, and I, I think Stellar got it right at the right time. Imagine a world where everybody has money. What does that world look like? And a lot of people um, in the world don't have money, not because they don't have good ideas, but because they don't have access to the networks where the money is exchanged. And that's what we're trying to do, is break those barriers down. So when you combine all of what Stellar does and all of what IBM is trying to do with WorldWire, and you put those together, now all of a sudden you have a capability that has the potential to really change the world, to have an impact on humanity. And I think that's really cool.
So again, family, Worldwide is um, what IBM set up with Stella. It's called Worldwide. You can look it up. And it's actually right now, it's being used as we speak. Um, it's being used as we speak. Um, and people in the South Pacific are actually using Worldwide to transfer money from peer to peer. Kind of like Cash App. You know, Cash App allows you to send money from peer to peer. Well, Worldwide is something similar to that, but on a faster, quicker, and a cheaper um, pace than Cash App, actually. Right? So um, this is something that is using Stella as we speak. Now, you can download this stuff to your phone. Um, purchase you now to use um, the network. You have to have some XLM um, to use the network, but then you are able to join and join the rest of the world that's already using this and start using the blockchain and use it in real world situations. And that's what Max Crypto News is about. We're going to talk about cryptocurrencies, but once we talk about these cryptocurrencies, I also want y'all to understand that you can use this today. It's not something that's being taught or a dream that's being sold that you can use down the road. These are real world problems being solved by these cryptocurrencies right now. You can use um ripple net net ripple on um, network right now the stellar lumens with ibm worldwide you can use this as we speak today to send money peer to peer without any middleman at a very cheap low cost price and it's instant and don't take no time at all so again i thank you for watching uh, another episode of Max Crypto News. Look forward, because we're going to be flooding you with many more, because we have a lot of cryptocurrencies that we're going to talk about. With that, peace.